Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Carmen, and in today's video, I'll be doing something that was requested by one of my viewers, which is an over-the-shoulder video of writing copy from scratch. Now, in today's video, I'll be doing some short sales emails because odds are, whether it's for your own business or clients, you're gonna have to write emails at some point. Most businesses nowadays use email marketing to nurture leads, drive sales, and just keep in touch with subscribers and build rapport and relationships over the long term. Knowing how to write good sales emails will drive conversions, revenue, and it also just gives you a skill that you can offer to clients and upsell. For example, if normally you do sales pages, websites, or even blog content, what you can do afterwards is upsell them and say, hey, I also do emails and I can help you drive more traffic and revenue. Now the formula I'll be using today is right here. I learned this from Jim Edwards' book on copywriting secrets. Highly recommend you go get that. He's Russell Brunson's right-hand man and writes all the copy for click funnels and the things they do. And the general formula goes like so. You're gonna start it off with a question-oriented subject line and most people actually open emails based on the subject line alone. If your subject lines aren't that good, then nobody is gonna open the emails and that means they also don't click the call to action and nothing really happens. And why you're gonna ask a question is for two reasons. One is that it gets them engaging and actually thinking yes, no, and some kind of answer and actually relating to the question itself. And also it kind of creates a bit of curiosity because when you ask a question, it implies there's some kind of answer afterward, which is gonna be in the actual body. And then we wanna open it up with a salutation. Now with most CRM and email marketing tools out there, they're gonna allow you to collect people's personal information, normally a first name, last name kind of thing. And with the salutation, I recommend using the person's first name to personalize the email and make it a little bit more deeper in that way, create a connection with them. Um, but also it's proven in psychology by using someone's first name, it actually gets their attention more. Then we wanna have some kind of shocking statement. This can be an interesting piece of data, statistics. It can be something that goes against the norm, just something very bold. And really the idea is that we're trying to get their attention. And you're gonna do that with a shocking statement. And then bullets to arouse curiosity because one of the most powerful emotions in advertising, copywriting and marketing is curiosity. Because when we get curious about something we're interested in, we wanna figure out more and find a solution or an answer depending on exactly what it is. And then we're gonna have a call to action which is normally to click to a landing page, a sales page to buy something. And then finally end it with a personal note and this can be with a PS if you would like. And once again, that's to create a personal relationship and connection with the reader and make it go a little bit beyond the average sales email that's just um, kind of hiding behind a logo or corporate branding. And that's essentially the six part formula we're gonna use. And I use this all the time for my own business and my clients and it tends to generate a lot of good open rates, click through rates and overall conversions. And now I have a few different um, examples here that I want to actually write the copy for. And the first one is gonna be a free lead magnet on doing taxes. It's tax season here in Canada, so it's been on my mind. And also lead magnets are very common for doing email marketing. So I want to do that. Um, a mini course tripwire offer. So we'll say this is about $29 maybe, or we'll do, we'll do 19 because it's a tripwire, which is essentially just a cheap product that gets someone into the funnel and potentially buying something more later when they're upsold. And then a marketing webinar. You know, webinars are obviously very common marketing tools nowadays and they're commonly embedded into your email funnels and sequences. So to begin with the lead magnet one here, of course we do need our subject line. Now the subject line, we can do a couple different things. We can ask a question about their pain point and their current situation they're trying to get out of. We can ask a question about their dream situation and really what they're trying to achieve and actually become. So with that being said, I'm actually gonna write down a few ideas. Okay, so we can ask something like struggling to do your taxes. Do you need help with taxes? Don't like doing your taxes or instead of targeting a pain point, what we can do is actually kind of provide a benefit. Like, do you want to make taxes, do you want to make taxes easier? Want to make taxes less of a headache and normally shorter subject lines work. I like these ones that have about five words in them, but sometimes if you um, split test it, sometimes you know the longer ones might perform better. And just like with um, any kind of traditional copywriting, sales pages, websites, it's always good to come back with more information and ideas and then write a better subject line. That's what I like to do with headlines. I always find if I'm writing, like especially a big project, after I've written all the body copy, I can go back and write even 
a better headline because I have way more data and things to work with. But what I'll do here is I'll actually go find a piece of good data because we're going to begin with the salutation. So I like doing hey first name. And once again, if you use any kind of email marketing software, CRM, you can pull that stuff with a form and then directly embed it with a token. And for the shocking statement, I definitely want to use a piece of data. So let me go find that. Okay, so here's a pretty cool piece of data I just pulled from G2. 60% of small business owners feel they're not very knowledgeable about accounting and finance. Um, so a nice piece of data, also probably very relatable. If we were sending this out to business owners and they probably outsource their accounting and whatnot and bookkeeping, then they can definitely relate to that. So 60% of small business owners feel they're not very knowledgeable about accounting and finance. You can probably relate to that. Well, I have great news then. If I told you that you could, and then I'm actually going to list some bullets here. So what you want to do is essentially write bullets that would make them very curious about the outcome or how they can achieve what you're essentially going to present. So in this case, once again, this is a free lead magnet on doing your taxes better and faster. So what if I told you that you could do your taxes in half the time you normally do? save tons of monies and get write-offs you didn't know about, not have to spend so much money on expensive accountants and bookkeepers, stop stressing so much over tax season and feeling disorganized. And what we can do with the bullets too is not only make them curiosity inducing, but target pain points and get those relevant emotions coming up um, and also talk about the benefits. So you're going to stop stressing so much, you're going to save money, you're going to learn write-offs that you didn't know about. So you can kind of blend those three things together. But then we need to follow that up with a call to action. And in this case, once again, it's a free lead magnet. So I could say something like, this can become a reality if you visit the link below and download your free tax cheat sheet. It includes 25 plus tips and tricks, tips and tricks around doing your taxes, around doing your taxes in less time while saving you money and headaches. Actually, I'll say visit this link, and then technically would probably hyperlink right here and download your free tax cheat sheet. It includes 25 tips and tricks doing around doing your taxes in less time while saving you money and headaches. P.S. I hired a veteran accountant, or I consulted. Consulting with a veteran accountant to get these insider tips. And then you would pretty much just sign off, however you sign off your emails. But once again, if you look at that, we have our subject line that asks a question that's going to relate to their situation, their pain point, or what they're really trying to get after. We have that custom salutation, some kind of shocking statement, or it doesn't have to be necessarily shocking, but something interesting, fascinating to get them reading. And then essentially, we're going to have some bullets um, that create curiosity. And it's going to be around what they're desiring deep down, their pain points. It can also create some urgency and scarcity, if you like. And then we're going to blend that into the offer. In this case, it's a lead magnet. For you, it might be a product, a consultation, reading a blog post, something like that. And then, of course, some kind of PS or personal touch to the email just to make it more personal and help them relate and connect to you. Now, let's do that again for a mini course tripwire. So once again, tripwires are typically cheap products. They could be $7, $9, $19, 20 somewhere around that range. And essentially, with a tripwire, you're trying to make someone buy that cheap product and then buy something more expensive afterwards. And you're essentially just getting them psychologically ready to make a bigger purchase and in that kind of buying mood. So once again, we're going to do our subject line. And we'll say the mini course is around making money online with affiliate marketing. I'll just choose a random topic. So once again, we need our subject line. So mini course tripwire offer. Want my affiliate marketing secrets for $19? Want to learn how to make money with affiliates? With affiliates, 
for $19. Want to make a living online? Want to quit your nine to five and build a business? So a couple ideas right there. Once again, pretty much providing a pain point or at least in the last one and then the other ones are essentially the cost savings value proposition of a cheap product giving you a lot or also just the benefit of making money online, making a living online, building a business. We're gonna do hey first name for the salutation and then a shocking statement. Um, we could say something like most people hate their nine to five jobs. The worst part, they never get out of the rat race and live the life of their dreams. They're constantly building someone, someone else's business and all while their dreams get left in the dust. So something they could probably relate to if this was a real business, I'm trying to make it a little bit emotional as well. So most people, okay. Uh, let's see, so now we have our bullets. Let me tell you something, there's actually a way a way to make the following your reality. You could be making a living online from your computer while never changing out of your pajamas. You could be making four to five figures per month without handling any physical products or inventory. And by the way, if you don't know, affiliate marketing essentially is a business model where you partner up with other businesses and then you sell their products and get a commission. You can finally quit your job, be your own boss, and live a life of total freedom. So presenting those benefits, hitting some pain points, but once again, not really telling them how they can do this just yet, which creates that curiosity of, okay, you know, how do I actually you know, quit my job, be my own boss, and so on? And that is when we get into the call to action. If you want to achieve all of these things, Click here to buy my insanely cheap $19 mini course that will show you, show you how to build an affiliate marketing business in just a single afternoon. It won't take, won't take more than, more than a few hours of your time and hundreds of students can attest to its potential. P.S. I spent thousands of hours learning this system and you will learn how to do it in an afternoon. Okay, so another example once again, and it's going obviously pretty quick and if this was um, you know, like a real project for a client or my own business, there of course would be so much more, you know, planning, outlining, researching and whatnot. But I just want to show you kind of just how this formula in email marketing, especially with uh, sales emails, kind of manifests. Uh, but once again, got our subject line with the question, salutation, some kind of shocking statement, something interesting, fascinating to get them into the email. Um, got our bullets and fascinations here, uh, or curiosity rather, and then call to action, little PS, then we sign off. So we got one last more I wanted to show you, which is a marketing webinar. Okay, so subject lines. I'm gonna ask them, do you want to master digital marketing? Does your digital marketing skills suck? Want to learn digital marketing? Want to get better at digital marketing? want to learn from the best digital marketers? 
once again, that hey first name salutation. And then we're going to get into a nice shocking statement or something to kind of get their attention. If you don't know digital marketing, competitors will get ahead. So creating some kind of urgency there that if they're not good at digital marketing, they're not implementing it in their business, well then competitors are probably going to get all their customers and whatnot. So if you don't know digital marketing, competitors will get, get ahead. You will lose out, lose out on customers, revenue, opportunities, and growth. You'll get easily left behind in your market. That is, of course, unless you sign up for our new digital marketing, digital marketing webinar that will take place on March 30th, 2021. It is led by XYZ. So we probably put actual people's names there that have decades of experience in digital marketing fields. You will learn how to rank on the first page of Google and get massive organic traffic, how to build a huge email list and subscriber base, how to use social media to drive traffic and conversions, the latest marketing trends that will set your business ahead. So I guess we're kind of giving them a little bit about what they're going to learn. So it's not entirely curiosity inducing, but at the same time, we're not telling them like you're going to rank on the first page of Google with schema markup and keyword research. Um, we didn't tell them exactly how they're going to get all these things, but at the same time, it's providing that benefit. Remember that there are, there are limited spots for this webinar, creating more urgency and scarcity there that they have to take action soon and get their spot. So make sure to secure your seat here. And then we'd hyperlink right there to the registration page. Uh, PS. PS, our presenters have never revealed these strategies before. So once again, a little bit more urgency there and scarcity. Cheers, Carmen, or the company name. Um, so you can actually see, like when you use formulas and you really understand how to plug and play, you can be writing some great copy really fast. And, and of course, if you had a real product, service, and business you're writing for, it would actually be even quicker and even better because I'm kind of just making this stuff up as I go. But you can see just how quickly the copy comes along. It looks great. You know, I bet it would perform. But you can just see how great the copy looks. It would perform really well. And it's going to be better than probably what most businesses put out, right? But if you do use this formula, guaranteed you're going to have way better performance, conversions, open rates, and click-throughs with your sales emails. Let me know in the comments below what other videos and topics you'd like me to see, especially if, you, especially if it's over-the-shoulder videos or breakdowns. Make sure to subscribe if you're new, by the way. And Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.